Hello there, welcome back to City Skylines. We are kicking it in Voxeria. Welcome to the episode. My name is Flybox and we're going to expand the city. We're going to implement some public transportation as I mentioned in the last episode and it is gonna be good. Let's do this. Okay, I added some zoning here just to, get to spread the power and it seems as if it will work. We'll see how that goes. First off, I wanted to add another bridge because this is, as for now, the only way that these two areas are connected by car. I mean, we have the public transportation, right? And I guess, well, people could go through the highway, but I don't think they really do that. So why don't we add a bridge? Well, let's go. Let's get a very basic uh, two-lane road. Let's just see how that is going to look. Okay, not too bad. Wow, and immediately cars are using the... Wow, okay, 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 okay. That's not too bad. That's not too bad, actually. I, but I think we can... We can, whoop, we can do a bit better here. Yeah, this is very steep anyways. Uh, let's pause, actually. And uh, let's go on in a... Let's go for a slightly different approach. There we go. That's what I wanted to have. And now you just delete this segment of the road. Okay, that's much better. That's much better. Now let's uh, let's actually smooth it out here. Just raise this up. Raise this node up as well. That looks pretty good right here. I think we can raise up this node ever so slightly. Okay, great. Let's raise that. Oh, that looks much better. Yeah, that's okay. There we go. All right. So we actually want to slope this node though, because uh, yeah, it doesn't look too good. Let's slope. There we go. That's much better. Slope the node. And uh, that is, wow. Cars are really using this all of a sudden now. Great, great. Okay, this bridge was definitely needed. Very good, very good. And I think it looks okay. Looks pretty good. All right, uh, so let's actually, let's see. What do we have here? We need, we need workers, we need more people. Oh dear. Okay, let's go with some zoning here. Just do some some wall to wall here. All right, just to fill out this area. There we go. Let's actually add this in here too. Up to here. And like so. All right. Okay, let's see for some public transportation. Okay, so public transportation. Uh, we have one bus that goes from this area all the way up to the festival area. Otherwise, no bus. We have the monorail, which is pink here. We could extend this. Have it go over the river into the farming area. We'd have to destroy some industrial but that is not a problem we can rebuild that we could have metro i think that's a good idea so let's start with the monorail actually let's see if we can we have to destroy quite some industry but i guess that's fine we can rebuild it right in here And the monorail. Okay, so where do we want that monorail station? I think we'll have it close to an... Maybe here on this road? Close to a possible metro. It's with the road. We want this without the road. Let's actually add this to here. Okay, nice. This should be good. Yeah, this is good. That's okay. Perfect. Perfect. Stops right there and it just keeps going. Nice. Okay, let's uh, fix up this patch here. Uh, we destroyed a walkway, I believe, in the process here. And we obviously used Surface Painter. But yeah, let's keep this a bit green in here. Come in here with some trees. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's okay. We can leave it like that. All right, nice. So we have connected this area up with a monorail. Now let's see if we can add a metro. There we go. I love metro. Underground is always good just because it doesn't create that much traffic. We'll put it here and we'll add another stop in here. just because I think it would make sense. And then we'll have a stop near the monorail, just so people can indeed transfer. Oop. Can indeed transfer. Okay, let's, let's see. Okay, nice, very nice. Let's quickly create a line between the areas. And the good thing about Metro is you can always add in more stops. Complete the line. Nice. Very, very nice. Okay, let's add like a small inner city bus in this area. Okay, I think we definitely want to connect to the metro. Just so we have some good coverage with the public transportation. Just going around this area here, maybe up in here, it comes down to here. So we'll get some good coverage and we'll just have this line fall back upon itself. We have a stop here. We could just do this. And I think this way here from these bus stops to the Metro is good enough for people to actually walk the distance. So this line falls back on itself. Oh, we can't go here because that is a one way, but that's fine. We'll just add the stop here. It's also a one way, but that's okay. We'll just complete the line right here. There we go. That seems pretty good. I think that is okay for now. That is pretty good. Let's continue growing the city some more. Let's get some more residents in here. And, well, we do need some more shops, too. Let's try and go for that variety in buildings. Okay, pretty good. What I forgot to mention about the public transportation is what is always good to keep in mind that I personally think that the buses, the buses, what we have here is very good for short distance transportation. Like if we have this but like bus line in this uh, like kind of a small town area right here uh, that covers just basically this area, but doesn't really go outside. The bus wouldn't really connect to, let's say, the downtown area because that would just be too long of a drive. That would be a long, like a long distance bus, right? So what we do is we connect the areas that are further apart from each other by a metro. A metro is up to speed very fast fast can carry a lot of passengers and we can also do that with the monorail i think just think the monorail looks really cool next to being a good way of transporting people through the city obviously for the longer distances like if you want to go across the map in city skylines we would use the train the passenger train is always good for transporting large amounts of people over the entire map okay these are like screaming for garbage. I had an eye on that uh, for quite some time now. Let's actually come in here, uh, add a side road, which has some garbage coverage right here. Yeah, let's put two recycling centers right here. That way those guys can take care of the garbage in this area here. Plus they can, you know, just drive around the map as well. All right, nice. Uh, more people. We need. We actually need a lot more workers, educated workers. Oh, by the way, yeah, we should probably have a look. Ooh, we have uh, almost as much students eligible as we have capacity, so we definitely need more schools. Ooh, okay. I see where the issue is here. We have totally neglected 
Not we, I. I have neglected this area in terms of schooling. Let's see, high school. We only have the one here. This area is covered like really good. But this area right here. We need some school in here. Oh, and obviously they need water and power. Okay, so schools, 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 schools. So should we put a school here or here? I think in this area here might be a bit better. Plus we can fill out this empty space here too. So let's come here with a different type of road, actually. Oh, nice. This turned out pretty cool, actually. I like this. Very good. Plus, we filled out yet another square. Okay, no more garbage issues. Everything looks good. How is this station doing? Serviced 66 passengers last week. Serviced 34 passengers last week. Very, very good. How is the overall statistic of the public transportation, though? Let's have a look. There we go. 1,000 residents per week. I usually like to have about 10% of my population, which would be roughly 1,600, let's say 1,700 people using the public transportation. Just 10% uh, is good. Everything above is great, but I do want, I do aim for 10% of my residents using the public, ta public transportation as a minimum, just to keep the streets with less traffic. So we'll have to up our game in that department. Okay, schools are pretty good. This coverage for the school is, is okay. Obviously these are all new residents. They have to probably bring their kids to school. Hmm, maybe we should help them with some public transportation from that area to the schools. Maybe we need a bus. Maybe we need a bus that goes from this area just to this area here. It's not very far, so I think a bus would also make sense in real life there. Uh, let's actually do that. Let's come in here and then just, you know, sneak onto this avenue and get off here turn around at the school maybe and go back and fall on itself we'll have the line fall on itself okay so stop here just go this way for now we won't stop on the avenue that's nothing i like to do actually uh, let's encourage some line sharing though let's go through here and here and the basic idea is you just, you basically want a lot of areas to get some good coverage. Uh, we could use this square here as a way to turn around. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Nope. Okay, yeah, that's, no, that's not what I wanted to do, actually. Let's take this out again. There we go. Let's put it here. <laughs> All right, now. Here and then all the way back to the school. And that should be good. 
Great. We have covered some more areas with a bus and the number is already rising. Very good. Very good. So I say we fill out this area a bit more just to uh, fill it out more. <laughs> and since I've been recording for a bit over a half an hour, I think we will call it an episode and uh, end it off until the next time. But let's go come in here. Actually zone all of this right here here obviously let's get some small shops in here okay so far so good let's actually cover up this kind of nasty looking terrain here let's see do we have there are Zoning squares, so we could do this kind of thing and just create some more houses. And let's see how the terrain looks then. Let's put it on two speed and let's just watch. And for the rest, we will just add some trees in there and see how everything goes. Okay, I'm just realizing the increase in traffic here. We're going to have to see and definitely monitor this. Maybe add a time traffic light. Maybe even add a slip lane somehow. Uh, but that that is that's actually a good idea to fix in the next episode. So let's leave it off here. We added some more residents, some more shops. We'll beautify this area with the trees, as I said. Uh, not today. We'll do it next week in the next episode. Also, come in here and have a look. Well, however, I mean, it's not too bad. Uh, it's not too bad. But, yeah, we're definitely going to have to do something. Because as the city grows, the traffic will become more and more. And it seems like they are all just heading into the next area over here. So we'll see if we can maybe add a slip lane or add a different road, maybe even turn this into a nice big interchange of some sorts. We'll see how it goes. Very, very interesting stuff. Very fun stuff to look forward to the next episode. If you enjoyed the music that you heard in the, the background, that is Flybox Beats. There is a link in the description below. If you are a streamer, or if you need music for your YouTube videos or for any other social media, feel free to use that 100% copyright free, 100% DMCA safe. As I said, link in the description. Do check out Flybox Beats. Otherwise, I really hope you enjoyed the episode. I had lots of fun today. Going to dive into some more traffic next time. Maybe some more public transportation. Who knows? Until then. I hope you all stay safe out there. Have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.